Good day mga Philomath! So for today's video lesson, we will learn how to illustrate the limit of a function as x approaches to c. But first, what is the limit of a function? The limit of a function is a value that the function takes on as its input gets closer or approaches a certain number. Continuity, integrals, and derivatives are defined by limits. A function's limit is always interested in how the functions behave at a specific location. Now, let's answer the three given limits if they are all equal. Let's answer the first given example. f of x is equal to x cubed minus x squared, where the value of a is equal to 2. First, we're gonna substitute the given value of a in our x. So, f of x is equal to x cubed minus x squared. Substitute and we will have 2 cubed minus 2 squared. Simplify and we will have 8 minus 4 is equal to 4. So, the value of r, f of 2, is equal to positive 4. Since the limit of a function, x cubed minus x squared, is from the left, our x values will be 1, 1.5, 1.9, and 1.99. To find our f of x, substitute all the values of x to our given equation, then we will have 0, 1.125, 3.25, and 3.92. Therefore, the limit of x cubed minus x squared as x approaches to 2 from the left is equal to positive 4. Let's move on to the right side where x values is equal to 5, 2.5, 2.1, and 2.01. Again, substitute the values of x, we will have 18, 4.375, 4.85, and 4.08. Therefore, our limit of x cubed minus x squared as x approaches to 2 is equal to positive 4. Our limit x cubed minus x squared as x approaches to 2 from the left is equal to the limit of x cubed minus x squared as x approaches to 2 from the right. Therefore, our limit of a function x cubed minus x squared as x approaches to 2 is equal to f of 2. So, for our equation number 2, we need to find out if our f of x as x plus 2 where x is less than 0, and as 3 where x is equal to 0, and as x squared minus 4 where x is greater than 0, where the value of a is equal to 0 are all equal. Since 3 where x is equal to 0 cannot be solved, just copy it and it will be f of 0 is equal to 3. To find the value of f of x in the limit of x plus 2 as x approaches to 0, we will going to use the table of values. If the limit of x plus 2 as x is less than 0, our x values in the table will be negative 1, negative 0 0.5, negative 0 0.1, and negative 0 0.01. Using your calculator, substitute all the values of x in the given equation. So the value of f of x, if x is Negative 1 will be 1, negative 0 0.5 will be 1.5, negative 0 0.1 will be 1.9, and negative 0 0.01 will be 1.99. Therefore, our limit of a function x plus 2 as x approaches to 0 from the left is equal to 2. Now, let's move on to the other side to find the f of x of the limit of a function x squared minus 4 as x approaches to 0. Since our x is greater than 0, our x values will be 1, 0 0.5, 0 0.1, and 0 0.01. Again, substitute all the x in the given equation, and we will have negative 3, negative 3.75, negative 3.99, and negative 3.9999. Therefore, our limit of a function x squared minus 4 as x approaches to 0 from the right side is equal to negative 4. So the limit of x plus 2 as x approaches to 0 from the left is not equal to the limit of x squared minus 4 as x approaches to 0 from the right or our limit of a function f of x as x approaches to 0 and f of 0 are not equal. Therefore, the limit of a function x plus 2 where x is less than 0 and 3 where x is equal to 0 and x squared minus 4 where x is greater than 0 if a is equal to 0 is d and e or does not exist. For the last example, f of x is equal to 1 over the square root of x minus 2 
if the a is equal to 4. The limit of 1 over square root of x minus 2 if x approaches to 4. The first thing that we need to do is to substitute the value of x into 4 since the value of a is given. f of x is equal to 1 over the square root of x over the square root of 4 minus 2. Next, 1 is over 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. So, so the value of x is undefined. Since the value of x is undefined, we will check. So we will check the limits using the tables of values. First, we need. First, we will check the values of x from the left. So from the left, the limit of one over the square root of x minus two if x approaches to four is equal to negative infinity. Value of 3.5, 3.9, 3, 3.99. Next, the value of f of x, since the x is equal to 3, we will using the given equation to get the value of f of x. The x is minus 2, the equal is Negative 3.7, negative 3, next, negative 7.74, negative 39.75, and negative 399.75. Next, the value of x from the right side. Limit of a function 1 over the square root of x minus 2, if x approaches to 4, is equal to positive infinity. So, we all know that the number from the right side of 4 is 5. So 5, next 4.5, and next 4.1, 4.01. And next, same thing that we did for the left side. If the x is 5, the f of x is 4.236, 8.243, 40.2, 40.2, 40.2, 24.8 the last 400.2498 we can clearly see that the result from the left and from the right side are not equal so therefore the limit of a function 1 over the square root of x minus 2 if x approaches to 4 is dne and this is the end of our video lesson i hope you guys learned something and always remember what Stan Goddard said, that the essence of mathematics is not to make simple things complicated, but to make complicated things simple. Thank you and have a great day mga ka-fellow math!